You know, it's funny. About you, you don't think this is too heavy for demo for you? <laughs> you, know, no, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, what's funny is we, we talk so much trash about like uh, muscle and fiction and all the, the bodybuilding magazines. <laughs> muscle and fiction. Yeah, That's yeah. my favorite. So or we're, flexing. We're, uh, yeah. we're, we're, we're giving our, uh, our favorite supersets or compound sets so, uh, for your arms. Uh, this is one of my favorite. And I have to be completely honest that uh, this was something that I read like when I was 20. Who, who did it? <laughs> oh, Do you remember the bodybuilding? Oh, God, what bodybuilder? Was, was it Mike Matarazzo? No, no. He was no, one of my favorites no. with the arms, the guns. I want to okay. say it was like, I want to say it's like a Lee Priest. I can't remember. It was another old, great. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was a, a long Priest. time ago. And uh, so and before I even show this, I want to put emphasis on that. At, you know, when you do supersets, compound sets, you're basically ch chasing the pump is what we're really That's doing. That's what they're good for. It is. It's really what we're And we highly recommend that you phase this in and out of your routines. Do not get stuck in training this way all the time. That doesn't mean that there's not a place for it, doesn't mean that there's not lots of benefits to it, and it doesn't mean that we don't do this. Oh, well, uh, sure, uh, even in functional athletic training, this is definitely something to experience. Yep. So one of my favorites is a uh, basic camber curl, two-way hammer curl with dumbbells. So, and the, I remember the, the magazine protocol, I'll give it to you guys as I still remember, is three sets one way, three sets the other way. So I would do my first three sets of the leading with the camber curl to the hammer curls, oh. and then I do the back three sets starting with the hammer curls leading to the Well, see, to this is good curls. because when you're going your curls, you got your supinated grip, then you go and hammer with your neutral grip, so you get a little more brachialis. Exactly. So ah. there, there's a little bit of benefits of doing both. So I'll just get my regular, my camber curls. Always remember the key to this is keeping that good posture. The chest is up, shoulders are peeled back. Nice and controlled. You don't see any swing in my shoulders. Elbows are in that fixed position the entire time. Again, I love the split stance for your upright posture. Yeah. It's it's a good call. Especially something like By this. By the way, I want to point something out here real quick with the curl. Notice at the top of the curl, his wrist is straight. Yeah. You know, the big problem people make with curls is they curl the wrist. So right when it comes to, come up there, to the top, curl your flex. wrist. Curl the wrist back like this. You like this, you mean? Yeah, you see people, look how much tension that takes off the bicep. Oh, Straighten yeah. your wrist I out, see. boom, instant tension on the bicep. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Keep the wrist straight when you do these. So okay. I'm hitting 10 to 12 repetitions of that. Point. Then I come straight over into my dumbbells. I'm gonna grab my dumbbell hammer curls. Same position of the elbows. Now we're just turning a neutral grip. So neutral grip, my thumbs are pointing forward with my dumbbell shoulders retracted, good posture. And then I'm gonna come up and get my Excellent. hammer curls. Excellent. And you know you get ten of these, and I'm gonna go three sets one way, turn around and get three sets back the opposite way, and you get this massive. I've seen bump. you doing this before each one of our videos. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so on to you now. Great, so, great, great way to get a pump. Here's something else that's interesting too. You'll see a lot of guys when they do curls, and this is good form, right? Elbows stay back here, but the bicep isn't just involved in elbow flexion. It's also involved in a little bit of flexion at the shoulder. So sometimes having the arm come up a little bit may look like cheating, right. but there's actually, you're actually adding a little extra You're not necessarily the swinging, you're just getting no, that coming, far range of motion. coming up here is working the bicep Wouldn't you say more. too, by peeling the shoulders back like this while you're doing it, you're gonna get that engaged also when you yeah. come up here. So I'll start in that position where I'm peeled exaggerated even further back when I come in and get that Got curl. It. Got it, excellent, excellent combo.